On this video, I'm going to wire a new plug for the temperature sensor for my CAT C15. So, on my last video, if you saw it, I put new thermostats in, I repainted this, you know, not great. There's some scuff marks on it, but whatever. But, so I took this out a while ago and I replaced this temperature sensor. Because it was getting a little bit wacky. And when I put it back together, it still didn't work. And I figured out from there that it was the plug. So... Here's a little trick. So when this is hanging on your engine, you can't actually see that plug down there. It's, it's very hard to get to. There's another temperature sensor up here. Okay. So what was happening to mine is I was getting check engine light, overheating. Uh, my, uh, my thing in the truck that shows what the temperature is was jumping from, it would jump up from, you know, uh, 188 normal temperature. It would shoot the whole way up to 230 like right away and start beeping and give me warnings and fan would come on and and uh but i look at the temperature gauge and the temperature gauge is showing that it's fine and then the temperature would suddenly drop back down to to 188. so like i said this was actually reading manually this goes directly to the gauge this is what goes to your computer so if your temperature suddenly goes from 188 to 230 and then right back down to 188, obviously there's a problem. There's no way uh, that that could happen. Luckily, the problem that I was having, I was able to, to grab the wire like from up ahead and pull on it a little bit and get it to work. But this time, I'm going to rewire the plug. So I'll show you how to do that. All right, so right here is the plug. And I'm actually going to take this apart here to show you guys. It doesn't take too much. That's the weather seal down in there. Over here, this is where the wires are going to go into. Okay, and then this right here, this is where the wires go through and it seals it up for the weather. So, let's get into actually wiring this. On this, the end of it here, you can see these little clips right here. That's where this, once it has the wire, is going to lock into. So it'll actually lock into there and you'll be set. Uh, yeah, wrong way. Yeah, that's what holds it all together. So what I'm gonna do here, is just to make it easier, I got some wire already, it's a 16 gauge wire. I'm gonna strip it down a bit. Eh, I probably want a little bit more. Yep, strip that down a bit. This is going to go on there. Now, you need a special tool for this. Oh, okay. right here's the tool. You can buy it on Amazon. And I will put a link for it down below. But you're going to put the whole thing in there. And squeeze. Pull it back out. Crimps it four places around the outside. All right, so on this one, I got another one of these. I'll do the same thing again. Put it in there. Put this whole thing in here. Crimp. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I took this plug apart to show you guys, but now I'm gonna put it back together because this is actually fairly easy. Once I figure out how I took it apart, yeah, okay. There we go. And this one, 
this goes down in here, fits in there, and then this goes on here. On these plugs, always remember, right there, real easy to release, but it has this little thing right here that slides in that keeps it from opening. So when you release these plugs, you have to pull back on this, and boom, perfect. All right, but now that I have that going on, I'm just going to take this, I'm going to feed it down through there. Go in, make sure you hear that click because that locks it in place. And then the wire's in there. I'll do it again. I'll make sure I hear a click. And there you have it. The whole thing's been rewired. Now, it's not the best way to do it, but I am going to splice this. I don't have time to wire it up to the computer. There's a way to wire it up to the computer and some other tools that you need. But I am going to splice this because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive that was the plug from the way it was. I don't usually like splicing things, but I'm going to do it this time because I really don't have the time to run it to the computer. So guys, I hope this video was helpful, and uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, I will catch you on the next video.